if you log into RAID this morning, being the 30th of November, you'll be greeted by an update, whether you're mobile or PC, which follows with this new um, login champion that is being released into the game. This one looks like a one that was already teased on their Twitter and Facebook a few a day ago or so, and everybody thought it was going to be Juliana or Ultimate Juliana or something like that, but no, it's a free login champion. This is Ronda Chase. Ronda is the name, that's a brand new champion, I guess, I've never seen this champion. And from what I can see with the gear coming with this champion, it's a savage set. That means this champion will be a damage dealer, unlike the last one that we had, an awesome one that we had, Ultimate Death Knight, which was uh, not a damage dealer, but a tank, <laughs> everybody's putting in stone skin right now and being a menace in the arena, which can actually take you through every content, he just soaks up all the damage if his single target hits. But I'm interested in knowing what Ronda is all about i want to i don't even know the faction this champion belongs to but i'll tell you right now if you log in from now the 30th of november all the way till february 28th all you have to do is log in for seven days you don't have to log in for seven straight consecutive days just as long as you do that login seven days login before the 28th of february that's a long time that's more than a month damn that means newer players coming into the game will have this champion within seven days that means it will also help you um, have somebody to go into the content with your starter champion i'll be answering that question should this be your first level 60 champion for newer players who are getting this champion and thinking of 16 this champion instead of their campaign farm i will also find out if that's even going to be possible of course for end game account like mine will this champion go straight to the vault once i get her or will it be something that I'll put into my teams or find some use for her? Alright, that's the long intro, long winded intro. Let's head over into it and find out where this faction, this champion actually belongs to. It's looking like, um, what do you call these champions now? Barbarians. She looks like a barbarian, so I'll start from there. I don't even know if it's a legendary or an epic. How do I go about finding this champion now? I guess from the champion I don't already own, I can know if I have her or not. From her at A1 attack, I don't even want to look at that. I just want to find her in game and see what she belongs, where she belongs. All right, I'll be right back when I find her. <laughs> Well, that didn't take long. She belongs to the Banner Lord. I just checked the Banner Lord and I found her. It's a legendary champion. I was kind of scared that she looked like an epic but it's a legendary champion because even if you make a login champion an epic one that is nice people will still appreciate it but ronda that's just a name no last name just ronda Woo! i don't get it though banner lords are known for carrying swords carrying big shields like helmets all over their head she looks like a boxer who is ready to you know do some stuff with her fiery flaming hands. She looks like a typical white girl going for the Olympics or something like that. But with braided hair. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you this this character design is unique. She looks like a normal banner lord, but she's not all covered all in all armor. Her face is not covered. She's not carrying big swords or big shields. She's just ready to do stuff with her fist. I'll be waiting to see her in live action in the game to see what these fiery hands actually do. So in terms of her design, oh, I've, I saw this on the floor. She doesn't need it. Her shield is also on the floor, right? Oh, that's not a shield. She threw her helmet. That's a shield also. She threw everything down to use her hands. She's going <laughs> all hands. That's her A1 also. Flaming Fury. It shows the icon of the hands right there. Attacks one enemy three times, I guess. That's why it's all flaming. I, if this champion doesn't have to do with something with HP burn, I'll be disappointed. If you give her flaming hands, it has to do something with, something with HP burn. So I'm expecting to see HP burn uh, mechanics into her skills. So let's keep going. Places an extra hit if the target has less than 50% HP after the third hit. That's a four hitter. I guess because if the A1 does hit that hard, she will definitely take somebody less than 50% HP. We'll find out her multipliers later when she's in the game though. When she's actually used. Damage, 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 damage on that A1. A damage dealer in Savage Set. I'm expecting to also see an AOE because if he give her Savage Set and then a single target, I'll be disappointed. Alright, this is also a 3 hitter on this A2. 
will ignore shield buff and 30% of the target's defense. 30% ignore defense plus the um, service that you're expecting to put for her. That's a lot of ignore of um, target's defense plus the ignore shield will be awesome for the arena at least, where that is always useful. Places a block passive skills debuff for two turns before attacking. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Also places to block active skills for two turns before attacking. This is unfair. I just got Romantu. I just got Romantu after sweat and blood for three, almost three years. I got this block passive skills and block active skills that Romantu does. Built him, getting masteries on him, about to do a showcase for him. And now they have a champion. That has that same thing that Romantu does. His own is conditional. He either places the block passive or he does the block active, depending on what the enemy has in terms of passive skills or active skills. But her own doesn't seem to have any condition. Oh, okay, there's the condition. You got me. I almost panicked for a minute. It's a single target. All right, all right. We'll, we'll forgive her. She can have it. Romantu should not be only, only be the champion having that block passive skills in raid. She can have it since it's single target, I guess. It's not that bad. Single target or three turns cooldown. She can have it. <laughs> she, she can have it. So, I almost freaked out there. I thought she is going to be replacing Roman 2, three turn cooldown, and people will just begin to go for her instead of going for Roman 2. But he is AoE. He does it on an AoE to all the enemies. Why she does it on a single target? All right. On the A3, let's see if that is awesome. That's the AoE we are waiting for all this time. Attacks all enemies two times. Damage increases by 30% if this champion has more than 50% HP. How is she going to have 50% more HP is by going first. That's the only way this will happen because um, damage dealers like this, if they don't go first, they're usually going down after the enemy takes a turn. So it also has a passive effect that immune to meter reduction effects when this skill is not on cooldown so at the start of the turn if this champion goes second you cannot reduce the turn meter of this champion that's nice decrease all turn meter reduction effects used against this champion by 50 percent when this skill is on cooldown i don't know about how i feel about the second part but the first part is awesome the second part is just okay guys if the skill is on cooldown, she gets less turn meter reduction. Because in the arena, that's where a lot of people do turn meter reductions with their Lissandra, with their Lady Kimmies, you know, just so they can make you not go first. But I guess this is where it will be useful the most. For PvE content, this is not that useful. Right? A lot of people don't do turn meter reduction in PvE. A lot of bosses don't do it either. So this is a totally PvP champion who is meant to come into the arena in early game arena and shake the place you see everybody getting her in seven days and going crazy with ultimate death knight and her all right or if they are newer players she also has another passive though has a 15 percent chance to join an attack whenever an ally attacks an enemy that's a low chance but it can be increased right to 20 percent with masteries right 20 percent chance of joining an attack when an ally attacks that's an awesome one Of course, this champion will use a default skill when joining that ally attack. That's a passive, so it's still an added advantage to help with this A1 right there. If she's joining an attack, that means if the enemy is already below 50%, she will place 4 hits on that enemy. That's an awesome one. 20% chance if you use that right mastery to add extra um, chances of landing this passive. At the start of each round, places shield buff on this champion for two turns equal to 40% of their max HP. At the start of each round, places shield buff on this champion. That means she's going into the battle with a shield. Equal to 40% of her max HP. Is her damage based on HP? No, it's based on attack. So there's no way you're building this champion with high crit rate, high crit damage, high attack stats, and then having enough chance to add some shield. I mean, some HP so the shield can be a fat one. There's no way that is happening. But still, 40% of her, maybe 30k HP, it's still something. It's still an added way for her to stay alive, I guess. So 
I've read the four, the three skills and one passive and one sub passive. There is no HP bond. So what's the fiery hands all about? There is no HP bond. She's a boxer, I guess. <laughs> Not an HP bond champion. We will leave the HP bond to those demon spawn champions to do it, I guess. <laughs> wow, Ronda. She does have an increased attack in all battles by thirty percent. She's a legendary. I think um, what's her name now? Xavier does have a 35% increase attack, right? In all battles. I forget. I think it's 35 or 30 for Xavier. In all battles also. So 30% is good. And I'll not say it's a bad one. For a free login champion, a champion you didn't pull from Shaz, a champion you simply logged in for seven days and obtained her for free. That's an awesome skill set right there to help beginner players not use their kill as their default, uh, what do you call it, arena nuka. But this champion who is coming with her own savage set to be your arena nuka. So my verdict is that this champion will rank around based on how hard he had hit in this skill will be. Attacks all enemies two times. Damage increased by 30%. Damn. This champion will hit hard if the multipliers look good. That's what I'm hoping. So we hope to test her soon and really make that final verdict. But initial review of her skills like this tells me that this champion is a good one. AoE nuke is good. Single target is great. Um, joining ally attack with an A1 that hits possibly four times is also good. So this champion will hit hard. I'm hoping so. And then this passive that gives her extra shield is extra is, is nice i guess let me know in the comments what you think about ronda she does have also a white girl name from the south <laughs> and um, yeah i'll look forward to your comments below if you're if you're going to be creating a new account just for the purpose of maybe doing your referrals or something like that or you just want to you're new to raid for the first time you're seeing this as a promotion and you want to find out if this is a good champion I'll put a link in the description to my referral link if you want to use that to join Raid. And um, yeah, Rhonda, welcome to Raid. We'll be logging in seven days and obtaining her and then actually do some playtests to find out what she actually um, is good for besides Arena. Later, guys. Hit the like button for me in this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Raid Shadow Legends content. Have a good day, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. You got that right. Download Raid Shadow Legends and get the legendary Ronda Rousey Champion for free. For free?